Hello and welcome to Backyard Food Guide. What I'd like to do today is to compare the germination rate of dollar store seed versus seeds that I would buy from the regular garden store or Home Depot. So these garden store seeds cost approximately four for a dollar, so about 25 to 35 cents each. And these ones from the garden store ranged anywhere between two dollars to three fifty sometimes even four fifty per pack of seeds so our question today is to try and determine whether or not the germination rate will be the same for the dollar store seeds which are some really good deals versus the garden store seeds so considering the big price difference between the two types of seeds, one might ask, why wouldn't we buy all of our seeds from the dollar store? Well, there are some differences. I think one of the main ones would be selection. So from the garden store or even from Home Depot, there are many different racks of seeds and certainly hundreds of varieties to choose from. Whereas from the local dollar store, the racks are relatively small and you might only have about 40 to 50 different types of seeds to choose from. Based on the research that I've seen online, some argue that the dollar store seeds might be a bit older. For example, with the garden store seeds, there's often a date on them. So either sold by or so by, and in this case for this eggplant, it is indicating uh, so by December 2021. Whereas for the dollar store seeds, there doesn't seem to be any date stamped on the package itself. So it's possible that some stores may be using some older seeds. We also think of in terms of the difference would be the number of seeds that are in the different packages. So what I have found with the three varieties that I have here is that the dollar store black beauty seeds had only about two thirds the amount that was found in the garden store seeds. So this is for the eggplant specifically. However, what I have found for the tomato is that it was essentially indistinguishable between the dollar store seed and the number of seeds found in the uh, $2 package of seeds. So the 33 cents compared to the $2 package. Also with the cilantro, same thing. In looking at the package, I didn't count them out individually, but just in looking inside the packages, there was really very little difference in terms of the number. So what you're gonna find is that I think some of the seeds, if you purchase them from the garden store, there will be more seeds in the package. However, what I've found here is that two out of the three were virtually indistinguishable. Also, for most home backyard gardeners, it's probably not necessary to have hundreds of seeds per package. Chances are, as long as you fill in your row or however many you want to do, there will usually be enough in the dollar store seed packet itself. So our next question then would be the idea of germination. Is there value in buying the dollar store seeds? So what I'm gonna do next is to test out 25 seeds from each of the package so that we can easily figure out the percentage germination rate of each kind of seed. Here are the two packages of Black Beauty eggplant seeds. I've counted out 25 each on a wet paper towel in order to test the germination rate of each kind. Here are the two packages of cilantro seeds and where possible, I did try to buy the exact same kind. So for example, with the eggplant, both were the Black Beauty eggplant. However, with the cilantro, there's a slight difference. The Renee's Garden seed is the slow bolt variety. 
And lastly, here are the two beefsteak tomato seeds that we're testing for germination. If you're interested in learning how to use paper towels to germinate seeds, I will provide a link to a short video that I did on how to do that. Once I've all the seeds counted out, I've carefully labeled and put them into baggies at this time, and I'm just gonna wait a few days. Okay, it has now been about 10 days and it's time to open the seed packets. So what I have here, of course, are the dollar store seeds versus the garden store seeds. And in an up close of the two, you're going to see that if you look through the bag, some of the seeds have definitely sprouted and there are actually tendrils coming out of the bags as well. So let's begin by opening up the dollar store seeds just to see what has been happening with them. And just carefully peeling back and it looks like quite a few of the dollar store eggplant seeds have germinated. And what we're going to do is lay them all out so that we can go ahead and count and figure out the percentage calculation for them. And I haven't really had to do too much to the seeds other than leaving them in a rev relatively warm location in the house. Um, I checked on them after about four or five days and when not many had germinated yet, I simply just sprayed a little bit more water into the Ziploc bags. Okay, so the dollar store seeds are looking pretty good in terms of how many have, it, have sprouted. I think the percentages are going to be pretty decent. The garden store seeds look a little bit better. They're certainly more green in terms of what has germinated after 10 days. And now we have the tomato seeds as well. And just quickly open that up. And again, looking a little bit greener as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a count so that we can figure out percentages and see if there's enough of a difference to justify the cost between the two. Okay, so in terms of the final tally for the seeds that germinated, what we have for the eggplant are that with the dollar store seeds, 16 out of 25, and for the garden store seeds, 19 out of 25. So I guess 64% versus 76%. For the cilantro, the dollar store seed is 17 out of 25. And for the garden store cilantro, we have 24 out of 25. So that's 96%, a very high germination rate. And for the beefsteak tomatoes, for the dollar store seeds, we have 21 out of 25 germinating. And for the garden store beefsteak tomato, 22 out of 25. So in all three types of seeds, the garden store seeds did germinate a little more. However, if we were to consider the cost differential of the seeds, then I think the dollar store seeds are definitely a better deal, even if their germination rate hasn't been as good. So overall, I would definitely recommend buying the dollar store seeds if they're available to you. However, what you're going to find, as I'd mentioned, is that the selection really is not as good. That at your garden store, you're going to find a much larger selection, a bigger variety, many more types to choose from. So I think the strategy for me in future years is to check out what the dollar store has to offer, pick up the seeds that I'm interested in, and then fill out the rest of my garden using the garden store seeds that are definitely more expensive, but I'm going to get a lot more variety in my vegetable garden. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more gardening videos. Thank you.